Have you ever wanted to build an amazing Jamstack application, but you didn't know where to start? There's so many options out there for headless CMSs, static site generators, APIs, it can be a little overwhelming. Well, my name is James Quick and I'm a developer advocate here at Auth0. And today I wanna to show you how to build a Jamstack application in minutes using Gatsby Cloud, Dato CMS is a headless CMS, all of which is going to be hosted in Netlify. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, where I am is on the gatsbyjs.com slash get dash started page. You find the link in the description of the video. And uh, what we're looking at here is the actual, the new Gatsby site with Gatsby Cloud built in. And what we're gonna walk through is creating one of these starter projects. And this specific one, we're gonna use the portfolio with Dato CMS as a headless CMS to work with a Gatsby application that will build a static site using the data from Dato CMS. Now this gets into the topic of uh, Jamstack and Jamstack stands for JavaScript, APIs, and markup. And uh, another thing that is important is to understand what a headless CMS is. So in the days before Jamstack, uh, most common scenario that you had was something like a WordPress blog and your WordPress was your backend CMS your database, as well as your front end to display the content from your database, like your blog post. Nowadays with the Jamstack, a lot of those are being decoupled. So you've got a front end application in this case with Gatsby and then a headless CMS with Dato CMS, which means that Dato CMS is just there to store your information and edit your information. And then Gatsby is a completely separate thing that pulls information from Dato CMS to then display your application to the user. So we're separating the front end and the back end with Gatsby on the front end and Dato CMS on the back end. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna walk through these steps here and I'm just gonna choose, I don't have a Gatsby site yet and then pick a starter. I'm gonna choose portfolio with Dato CMS. So we'll click that and then we'll scroll down and say, get started for free. Now, if you haven't uh, logged in or signed up on gatsbyjs.com, uh, you will need to do that. So go ahead and do that process if you haven't. Uh, you'll need to give this a unique name. So in this case, I'm going to create uh, JQQ Gatsby Cloud Test 2. This is the second time I've done it. And I'll do next. And then it's going to ask me to connect my CMS. So basically what this is uh, going to ask me to do is log in to Dato CMS, either log in or create an account with Dato CMS and basically give Gatsby access to go and pull and manage and work with the data in Dato CMS and uh, tie into a uh, build hook so that when we change data, data in Dato CMS, it will automatically do a rebuild of our preview inside of Gatsby Cloud. So I'll go ahead and click connect here. I'll do uh, authorize Dato CMS. Again, I've logged in and created my account before. You can see that here. You can create your account at this point, no problem. So I'll go ahead and log in. I will authorize it. All right, and that's gonna be able to create new projects inside of D Dato CMS. We'll see that in a second. Let's go ahead and do start my site. It's gonna load here for a second. And then you see it says successfully set up Gatsby provisioned portfolio. And um, inside of Dato CMS, I've got a link to my dashboard. Let me open that in a new tab here. So inside of this link, I can see the dashboard if I log in for the project that was just created by Gatsby. So Gatsby authenticated, or we allowed Gatsby to have access to go into Dato, Dato CMS. It created a project and then inside of there, we can enter the project and we can see all the data that's been created. So it went ahead and created several different things here by default. It's got information for a homepage, a uh, list of works. This is gonna be the portfolio items that you'll see in a second, social profiles, and an about page. You can store a lot of information inside of Dato CMS and then pull it in in Gatsby, which we'll see here in a second. So let's come back to gatsbyjs.com into our dashboard. And we can also see that a repository has been created in GitHub to store this project. So it went ahead and gave us all the code. It created all the data in Dato CMS, and then it gave us the repository in GitHub as well. All right, so let's do, uh, let's say finish here. And what this is going to do, it's gonna start doing, actually it's already been doing a build of this Gatsby site. And once this build is finished, we'll have a preview link where we can go out and see the result of the project inside of the Gatsby preview link. 
And one of the fun things about doing builds in Gatsby Cloud, they've done some optimization around building so that secondary builds can be much faster depending on what content has changed. So if you've only changed one small piece of content, your next build will be much faster than the one previous to it. Okay, so that build looks like it finished. So if we click on the build, we will get a preview link here. We can click on this preview link, it will open up the site. And what happened is during that build process, Gatsby, I'll show you this in the code in a second, went and extracted the information that it needed from Dato CMS to statically generate all of these pages. And now here the portfolio is available and ready to go. Now again, this is basically a boilerplate uh, website. You can go in and obviously customize this to your heart's extent and then customize the data in Dato CMS as well. So let's take a look, look at what that looks like inside of the Dato CMS dashboard inside of our project. Let's update some information and I'll say, uh, hi, my name is James Q. Quick, and I am, if I can spell correctly, and I am a senior developer advocate at Auth0. And then I don't need the secondary page or secondary piece of information. And then I'm gonna save this. Now Gatsby has already made some connections here between Dato CMS and our Gatsby site inside of the Gatsby Cloud. So if we come back to the Gatsby dashboard and go back to production overview, since we updated data in the Dato CMS, now that triggered a rebuild of our site inside of the Gatsby JS dashboard. So all of these updates that we do inside of DMS, after we save, it's gonna trigger a new build and we can send out the preview link for that build to people so that we constantly have this ability to check to see how our site is looking before we actually finally deploy it to the real site. So we'll give this a few seconds to finish up and then we should see uh, that build will have the new data inside of it. Okay, so notice that that build was a little bit faster. Let's click on that build. Let's go to this new build or preview link. Let's open it up and now you see that I've got my James Q Quick information in here. So again, this is a really cool way to have Gatsby Cloud set up a project for you, add the project to a GitHub repository, create the code, create the project inside of Dato CMS, as well as populate it with some starting data that we can then override and get up and running really quickly for our projects. Now, the next step of this would be to actually check out the source code and then uh, reference or update it as we want inside of our local uh, project. So I'm going to uh, get this clone URL and then I'm gonna clone the project and be ready right in a second. So I open up my hyper terminal. I'm going to uh, CD into my code slash demos directory and then do a git clone of this new repository. So I copied that clone URL. All right, so I've cloned that and then I want to open uh, JQQ Gatsby test two. I wanna go ahead and open that inside of VS code by using the, the command code and then the name of the project. So I've got that over here. I'm gonna drag it onto my main screen. And inside of here, you'll see basically a, uh, a real Gatsby application. So if you're, if you're relatively new to Gatsby or you wanna know how this thing ties in to the Dato CMS backend, it does it at build time and we'll show you what that looks like right now. So inside of source, inside of pages, if we look at the index page and scroll down to the bottom, it's got a GraphQL query. This is how Gatsby works to pull in information at build time. And because of the Dato CMS plugin or extension, which is included in here, if we search for source Dato CMS, because that extension plugin exists and we've included it in here, we can reference it inside of our GraphQL queries. And it's looking for things like the ID, the title, the slug excerpt of each of those portfolio items. And then it's bringing them in to the index page. And if you look, it's iterating through each one, and for each one, it's creating that work item that we see. So that is what we see right here with each one of these portfolio items. So this index page at build time is going to Dato CMS. It's grabbing all of that information, and it's generating the HTML that represents that on this page right here. Now, there's another aspect of this of when we click on one of these details or one of these actual uh, events, this is also a separate page. So Gatsby being as cool as it is, has a way to, at build time, pull in information and generate individual pages for them using the Create Pages API. So the Create Pages API has access to GraphQL. It uses that GraphQL to do a similar query to Dato CMS. It then gets a reference to 
each one of those portfolio items and its slug. So it passes the slug to the work template, which is what is used to create each of those individual pages. So if we look inside of the work template and scroll down to the bottom, that slug is passed in to a query parameter inside of the GraphQL query. It uses that slug to then go to Dato CMS and grab the appro appropriate portfolio item. And then in the details page, you're seeing it's grabbing information like title, excerpt, uh, gallery, description, cover image, and so on. And you can see, if you go back to the Dato CMS dashboard, you can see that those properties, actually this one over here, those properties are going to line up with individual items inside of Dato CMS. So you see title and slug and cover image and excerpt and gallery and then description. So Gatsby is going and getting all of this information at build time. It's creating blazing fast and uh, static pages to represent each page of these portfolio items, as well as pulling them in to display this, um, this index page, as well as information on the homepage and the about page, which is super, super cool. So at this point, you've got your own Gatsby project that you can go in and customize and tweak and change colors. If you want to go into uh, the CSS and change things in here, it's set up using SAS. You can change all the things that you need to, but now you're up and running with a headless CMS that you can use with your Gatsby front end. Now, the last part of this, which is actually really cool too, is the Gatsby dashboard or inside of Gatsby Cloud, you have the ability to have these preview links. But what happens when you want to actually uh, fully host this in a service like Netlify? Well, in this case, uh, they've got a button here for setup hosting. Say, so go ahead and do that now. You can choose from Netlify, Fastly, Firebase, AWS S3, Google Storage, whatever you want. I My personal favorite is Netlify, so I'm gonna connect this to Netlify. I'm gonna say connect. It's gonna open up Netlify. It's gonna ask me, hey, do I actually want to allow this to happen? Yes, I, I do want that to happen. And then I'm gonna add this to my personal team and click create. And this is actually going to create a site inside of Netlify. And if I open my Netlify account, let's log in here. You can see I've got my original one for testing and then I've got the Gatsby Cloud too. Now this thing is connected. So now when I come into uh, back into the Gatsby Cloud dashboard, it says deployed to Netlify in eight seconds. So now if we come back and refresh inside of Netlify, we should see that there has been a deploy and the site is deployed. So now at the Netlify URL, which I can add custom domains to, now I can see the same website here with, uh, with my amazing React Gatsby application leveraging Dato CMS hosted in Netlify super simple and super easy to get started with. So you take advantage of these Gatsby builds, these preview links that happen in real time as you change data in Dato CMS. All of that stuff gets connected by Gatsby kind of walking you through it and doing a lot of it for you. You get a repo, you get a Gatsby project, you get a Dato CMS project, and then you've got just a couple of clicks to be able to deploy this thing to Netlify. So this is all really, really incredible and it's really quick and easy to get started with. You should definitely go and check out and give Gatsby Cloud a shot. Now, question of the day, are you building any Jamstack applications? Are you using a headless CMS? Are you using a static site generator like Gatsby? Let me know what tools you're using in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give a like subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you can receive notifications as we create more content.